I'm Brendan Gulick. Welcome to Buckeye Breakdown. All right. Uh, we had one additional question, but before we get to that, I want to do uh, a listener question here. Julian Foreman says, who's your MVP so far this season? That's an interesting one because I think you could go a lot of different directions. I'm uh, I'm tempted to go to the offensive side of the ball. Truly the idea of the most valuable player, not necessarily the best player or the most proven, but I think the most valuable player for me is Travion Henderson because he gives this offense – an explosiveness, um, you know, that that they need to balance out the attack. We know what they're capable of at wide receiver. You could probably make the case that Garrett Wilson is the most valuable player. I'm not sure you could give it to the quarterback, even though we've seen good numbers from quarterback play. I just think Travion Henderson, what he has showcased so far, um, has has given Ryan Day the ability to exhale and say, look, we don't have to force the ball to the wide receivers I, I realize that the Buckeyes kind of abandoned the run game a little bit in week two when when CJ threw for, I want to say, something like 428 yards maybe. Um, but, you know, the, the idea that Travion has really come into his own, obviously had the great single-game performance against Tulsa. Um, I mean, by all indications, this kid is going to be an absolute big-time star. Um so I, I'm I'm going to go that direction. I don't think I could pick somebody on the defensive side of the ball, and, and I think he makes the most sense for me offensively. Brendan, I'm going to give him the nod as well, uh, Trevion Henderson, uh, but I, I will follow that up. I agree with everything you said about him. The one thing you omitted about Trevion Henderson, when Trevion Henderson's playing good football and he's running the football, it keeps this unproven defense off the field. So that's another thing that he does to complement, you know, really not only his side of the football, but also the defensive side of the football. And, and my other guy that, you know, I really think, has really had a quiet, great season as Garrett Wilson. I mean, Garrett Wilson flashes on special teams. He's a return man. Um, he, he makes a lot of plays in the throw game, and he really is a good blocker. And when you go back and you watch him on tape, Garrett Wilson's engaged and he's running his feet. I think his stock, you know, we talked about draft stock earlier in the day. I think his has risen this year. You know, and, and not to say Garrett Wilson wasn't already like a no-brainer uh, Sunday guy. But I think he he's adding to that, um, you know, from that standpoint. But but Garrett Wilson would be my runner up because like we, if we both go Trayvon Henderson, obviously, oh Trayvon Henderson, good call. But I mean, Trayvon <laughs> has done a phenomenal job this year. Uh, but Garrett Wilson would be my next guy up, you know, from that standpoint. And it's not a knock on Chris Olave. Chris Olave is a phenomenal, elite, generational uh, type of you know <laughs> receiver. Uh, but, but Garrett Wilson's doing a lot of stuff quietly uh, that's uh, you know really paying dividends for the entire Buckeye team.